In a recent interview, a representative from Bomber has provided some interesting advice for EV charging. Elakkanlah, eh? elakkanlah mengecas kenderaan dalam keadaan hujan, eh? dalam ketika hujan. Jadi kalau ketika hujan tu, dia boleh berlakunya kebarangkalian untuk berlakunya renjatan elektrik dan sebagainya. Di samping itu juga tangan kita ataupun punya kita sebagai nozzle, kan? dipastikan dalam keadaan kering lah supaya tidak berlakunya renjatan lah kita takut kan paling penting ialah kita kena cabut lah takut kita dah, dah habis kita charge kita terus balik uh, lupa pula nak, nak, nak cabut kita punya nozzle lah All those advice sounds really good however do they apply in real life? Well join me and Hanif to find out the answers let's go Okay, we right now we at the uh, Jentari Jom Charge EV Charging Hub here at the X Park Sunway Serene. So try to imagine that there's no roof and it's pouring rain. So to simulate that rain, I'm just gonna take out the <laughs> connector and we just spray it. You know, we already have. I uh, suppose that's good enough. Uh, we did it's still raining, so of course, you know, your charging cover here also bit of water, you know, cleaning, then uh, get out, okay. Uh, also, the pouring rain, definitely <laughs> this area must be wet as well. Betul, betul. Okay, so now, moment of truth. Okay, let's take out this, the cover, it's my BYD Dolphin, BYD Dolphin okay. uh, charging connector. I'm just going to plug it out, and inside here. Oh, wow. <laughs> This charger actually have an auto charge feature, but uh, not at all for Dolphin at the moment. See that it stay and you are allowed to start charging. Huh, see that? It's now time to charge. So, sekarang, kereta Capi sedang di charge pada paras 60, uh, 60kW sebab dia punya bateri dia dah lebih daripada separuh jadi kadar pindasan dia turun lah untuk maintain dia punya keselamatan bateri. So in general, I would say that uh, EVs, especially the new, the newer EVs and also EV charging infrastructure have so many safety features uh, included with it, so many safety mechanisms. So it's actually fairly safe for you to charge even while it's raining. For example, this uh, ABB Terra DC charger, uh, I believe there's an IP rating somewhere near here. Oh, here you go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, it's a bit hard to see. Here, see here. So IP54. Okay. It's quite obvious, if it's flooding, you shouldn't charge your car, right? So, you should just run away. But anyway, if it's raining, you shouldn't have any problem to charge your EV. Ini Hanif dan Chapri daripada masa depan. Earlier, the demonstration was some simulation, but now we really have an actual raining situation. So what are you going to do? You're going to get a charge while it's raining. Right now we are at the uh, DC Handal EV charging station in the UOA Business Park near Glen Mary Shah Alam where there is no roof. So as you can see right there, there's a BMW i7. It's also charging in the middle of the rain but the focus is here on my own BYD Dolphin. So come, let's go. Capri dah sambungkan nozzle pengecas kepada port pengecas EV nya Sekarang dia akan aktifkan jom charge Ok There you It's connected Now it's charging So macam tu lah Boleh charge dalam hujan Ok sampai di sini saja lah Terjumpa Hanif dengan Capri dekat Sunway Serene Bye Ok As you can see right now uh, the We are still charging Nampak pengecas tu Ah, uh, nampak there? You can see in the small window there. So it's still charging, and what will happen if I just try to drive away? Okay, right now the car is off, turning it on. Okay, so it's now on. Let's see what happens if I try to reverse my car. I can't even select anything in my drive mode. It's just there. What if I stop the charging and try to remove the car? Okay, baiklah. Tadi apa yang Capri dah buat adalah cuba masukkan gear drive sewaktu sedang charge 
So now I already stop. You see, you see my screen. There's no more charging. Tak charging. Yeah, but masih, masih. See, see, it's still there. And let's see, I try to drive away. Nope. It start. It says warning there. Please pull out charging plug. Then only you can shift. Okay. Mm. Nope. Cannot go D. Cannot go R. Cannot go D. And you can see there's a warning here. It's still plugged in. So there you have it. Once the connector is plugged in, you will not able to remove the car. Like I said earlier, EVs have so many safety features that the advice from the bomber representative earlier today doesn't really apply. I mean, in the end, we are not trying to undermine all this uh, effort. We are here just to show you that are fairly safe. So many safety features have been designed and included in it. Not just EV and also uh, charging infrastructure that if you want to charge in the rain, you shouldn't have any problem. And again, not be able to remove your car while the connector is still there. So with that, let us know what you think in the comment section below. And thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more EV content here at SoyaChinchow.com. My name is Chief Chapri and I'll see you in the next one.